super well today, living your best life, staying hydrated, and checking in with your friends, your family, your heart, and your mind most of all. My name is Janae, and I post home decor and lifestyle videos right here on the tube. But today, we're actually gonna be doing something a little bit different um, because I'm getting ready to go on a trip to Los Angeles. I thought it'd be fun to share with you guys how I pack light for any trip and what is in my carry-on at all times. So yeah, if that's something that you're interested in, definitely keep watching. If you're not interested, you should still keep watching. You never know what you might learn, you know? You know, you know, you know? Eh, eh. You know, you know, you know? Also, thanks to you guys and your kindness and your support of this channel, which I always appreciate. This video is actually sponsored by Cole Haan. Shout out to Cole Haan, and I'm really excited to share with you guys something they recently launched that I really think you will love. But for now, let's jump into this video and get our travel tips on. So first, when it comes to packing light, it definitely is not something that's easy to do. I am a notorious overpacker, but over the years, I have found ways to pack a little bit lighter just to make my life easier, just in case I pick up something while I'm out of town. I'm not struggling to repack my bag, like we've all been there. Or you just have an excess of stuff that you don't actually even wear. So my first tip when it comes to packing light is sticking with neutral colors. Not that you have to do this if your wardrobe does not have a lot of neutral colors. Don't even worry about that. Just sticking with colors that kind of go with each other. But I say this because you can pair so many more outfits together if you have colors that go together. Additionally, a lot of your troubles can be spared by just planning in advance and not just throwing things in your suitcase, but actually planning your looks for your trip. And I'm not a fashion person, that's not my MO, but I do plan out what outfits I know I'm going to actually wear. For me, that's a lot of athleisure, um, easy t-shirts and sweaters, that's just simple, they're comfy, they're cozy, and a lot of those items can be dressed up or dressed down. Um, and then you don't need that many pairs of pants, I've learned, because jeans don't have to be washed immediately after you wear them. Like, come on. As for shoes, I typically like to go with something that's easy to mix and match with different outfits that can be dressed up or dressed down, but also that is comfortable and still cute. Much like these Grand Pro Rally sneakers that Cole Haan sent me, my main priority is comfort. Comfort, 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 comfort. We have all been there when we were trying to be too cute and we knew we should not wear a particular shoe, but we wore it anyway. And then regret, nothing but regret. You guys, I don't have time to play games or con you or scheme you because then you're just gonna come back and blast me. So when I say these shoes are the most comfortable sneaker I have put on, it's not an exaggeration. I think there's some type of squishy memory foam at the bottom. Oh yeah, they have a kind of squishy sole, which is really nice. Still good support right here, which I need. And then not to mention, they're so cute. But what I love when I put these on is it feels like I made an effort for once. <laughs> it just looks like I tried a little bit without trying too hard um, because of these nice cute little details that, you know, I would say are fashion. That's fashion. These look great with leggings, denim, skirts, dresses. So yeah, I will link to these shoes down below. Definitely check them out. They have a few different colors and styles. I also like to pack at least one kind of splurge shoe that would be more for either a night out or something like that. First thing you're going to want to do is actually lay everything out. Like go through your closet, go through your drawers, 
whatever, whatever, and gather the things that you think you're going to want to bring on your trip and then go through a purging session before you start putting that stuff in your suitcase. So I like to lay everything out that I would like to bring and then I have reality come, have a little visit, and then we have a little chat and I get rid of items that I actually don't need. Now the actual packing technique I like to use is nothing amazing or new. We all are pretty familiar with Marie Kondo style of folding now. Um, that has gotten very popular for a good reason because that ish works. I've saved so much space. I used to roll my clothes and you know, rolling works too, but I really like the making, you know, the perfect squares the perfect squares, the perfect rectangles, but this works for me and it's great. I try to organize my bag based on the type of item it is. So that way when I'm looking at my suitcase, I can see everything and be able to put together outfits easily without having to take everything out of my suitcase just to put it back in. When it comes to actually packing the shoe, there are all these companies that make, you know, shoe bags, which are really nice. But if you're trying to protect your coin, just find something around the house that that way the dirt from the bottom of your shoe isn't transferring to your clothes. There were many times where I didn't do this and I'm like shocked that I just let my dirty New York City shoes touch my pure and innocent clothing. And then the other side is perfect for just your toiletries, any tech that you need to bring, but then also just leaving a little bit of space open in case you end up treating yourself while you out of town or getting something for someone else if you're thoughtful like that. Can't relate. Cannot relate. So for my first toiletry bag, I typically pack it in the order that I do my morning and night routine so nothing is forgotten. Face wash, Moisturizer with SPF, vitamin C serum, body wash, body lotion, deodorant, makeup remover, night moisturizer, a face mask, chapstick, lash serum, and that's it for my first toiletry bag. Go ahead and pack that up. And moving on to the next, these are just extra necessities feminine products, hair comb, fluff the curls, gel for my edges, a brush for my edges, hair ties. These are stall mates, which I will share a little bit more about these in a moment. Under eye masks, tissues, so go ahead and pack that in. I have a little jewelry box just to keep my necklaces from getting tangled um, and to store my rings and watch. So that is everything that would be in the actual suitcase. Go ahead, zip that up, sit on it, do what you need to do. You're done. Bada boom, bada bing, bada bing. Next, I wanna talk about my day of essentials. Um, so what I actually wear when it comes to going to the airport and what I have on me for convenience. And starting out with outfits, I live by and stand by either leggings or joggers. Here is why. One, you're gonna be doing plenty of walking and plenty of sitting. When you sit, do you really want your denim digging into your lovely lady love? Didn't think so. Um, so having something that is loose like joggers or something that's soft like leggings, you know, you're gonna be a happier, more wholesome, welcoming person. I love the leggings that I have that have pockets because I can easily access my phone, which often has my boarding pass on it and other important information. Um, so being able to slide that in and out without having to reach into my backpack or reach into my purse, best case scenario when it comes to up top just having something that's comfy cozy and that'll keep you warm um, but it's great if it's something that can also be removed and now let's jump into the last section of this video which will be my go-to in-flight essentials so things you're gonna actually um, have in your seat with you this is the fun part um, I have 
these amazing little clear cases that I found on Amazon. They come with two in a pack and this is the large size, but these are great. I also have a smaller case just like the other one that I use for anything that I will need on the flight. So for my in-flight essentials, I like to keep all my tech with me in this massive bag. Laptop charger, phone charger, portable charger, a must. My external hard drive, this little doohickey, my camera tripod, my camera battery charger, and then just some traditional headphones in case you wanna watch a movie on the plane and my Bluetooth headphones and two pens because you never know what paperwork you might need to fill out and your neighbor probably is gonna ask to borrow a pen. And for my last toiletry bag, I like to just keep things like disinfectant wipes just to get all the germs from around your seat. So these are stall mates and they are biodegradable, flushable wipes that are great for just staying fresh when you have a long travel day. And this brand is really great because they actually plant a tree for every box purchased. And usually um, wipes like this, you can't flush and they're not biodegradable. So I was super excited about that. And the quality is just nice and thick, um, which is major key. Definitely check them out. Glasses cleaner wipes, tissues, under eye masks, hand sanitizer, Sudafed if you're congested, Advil, hand cream because it's super dry on the plane, chewing gum to pop the ears, and then this cute little portable toothbrush so you can refresh your mouth and some little toothpaste and some breath spray because you just never know who you might meet. And some floss sticks and a little eye mask just in case your neighbor decides to keep the blind up and you wanna take a nap. And then lastly, some little snackies. No one wants to be hungry in flight. And I like to put my makeup in my backpack just in case I'm meeting up with someone right after I land um, and I don't want to look dead inside, even though I may be dead inside. Additionally, in my backpack, I like to put in my laptop, a book. Right now I'm reading Atomic Habits and then the big tech bag and all the other toiletry bags we just discussed, a water bottle, some fuzzy socks, and a little sweet treat to prevent me from spending $8 on a candy bar in the airport. All right, you guys, that is it for this packing video. The next day, I headed off to the airport, said goodbye to my mom and our puppy Bailey, and was flying the friendly skies en route to meet my bestie. Hey, what's up, hey, what's up, hey, what's up? Hey, hey. <laughs> We have a new life together. Hey. We're not in New York forever. Hey. We made it to LA. And we're gonna spend the next couple of days in Los Angeles trying to find somewhere to live. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you found it helpful. All right, love you guys so much. Bye.